steam. The hook I'm going to be using is the uh, Fully Mill it's, uh, Ultimate Dry Fly in Black Nickel. This is a bronze uh, wired version. It's the, I like using the, the nickel. I like, I like both. They're good hooks. But anyway, it's quite simple to tie um, and you can fill your box extremely quick. Now, this is the Unithread 80 in tan. You start at the eye. Now, I've run the wax through it, so there's plenty of grip there. I'm just going to run the thread down, remove the waste, take it to the point where it's just slightly coming around the, the bend. Then I'm going to get some cinnamon CDC. Now, I've got two colours of cinnamon here. Now the way I get this, this is basically, I'll show you the CDC. That's a white CDC there. Now that's a natural white CDC. You can see the yellow in the stem there. It comes from a natural. Um, whether this, I think it's a domestic duck or goose. One or the other. But the CDC feathers anyway. Now, to get the colours there, now this is a, a dark cinnamon, this one. And then it's a light cinnamon. Now, the way I get this is to put, it's a vineyard dye I use. I basically have a, say, a wash, give the CDC a wee quick wash. Then a half the amount, put half in first with the, the cinnamon dye and allow it to soak up most of the dye. And you'll see it get into this colour. And then I'll throw in the other half and let it soak up what's left. And that gives you the light coloured CDC. Now that's how I get this, this two-tone colour and that works extremely well. Now dark I'm going to put underneath and the light on top. I don't think the fish will matter but the reason I like the dark under is that normally when you tie a cinnamon gold type elk hair caddis it would be an olive body, a olive body with a brown hackle. So I always put the, the darker, in this case, or the cinnamon on the underside, the darker side. So what I do first is draw back what I don't need, just pull it back and then pull the tips in and hold the tips. Want this nice curve shape like the bottom of a boat and that's the inside of a boat in there. So basically then I hold the tips, have the tips facing or come towards myself and come round with that turn. Now just come in, a couple of turns now, that, those turns are onto the bare hook really. And we pull this in slightly and then tighten up. Then we turn this round and you see that in curved shape in the inside and that's what holds and traps the bubble and keeps helps to keep the fly up. And then what I do is make sure this is tied in. Run the thread up, and then the way back down, and we tie in an olive CDC. This is a pale olive, or very, it's like a more like a yellow type olive, so it's quite light. Now I can remember a couple of turns, and then I draw, these are loose turns, draw the tip in, and then I continue winding down towards the back. These are loose turns, and then I pull the tip in as close as I can go to the the back and then I wind my thread up tying it tight because I'm using this CDC feather as a hero and then basically wind up you could wind this over some varnish or some glue but because it's on the stem it's really strong wind it up at least three quarters away and then make sure it's secure and trim away what you don't need the excess they keep these ends see this, this here that makes for a great dubbing. Don't throw that away, trim it off, put it in a wee bag. I usually just keep it on the stem and put it in a bag. Uh, just give an idea, I should have one a bag here. So what I do is, so there's a, this is a dark olive, or brown olive, and that's all the cut ends I keep in the bag. So I do it, just really for dubbing, because it's, it's crazy to throw it away. Too expensive to throw it away. And then what we want to do is form our, our wing with the CDC. Now what I like to do is make sure these are nice and uh, they're both the same length, pull them tight and make sure and I like to draw back one or two fibres either side. So if I put the hackle to the side here so you can see what I'm doing, I'm taking two or three of the fibres either side and drawing back what I don't want. And bring it back round come round, basically hold it there just to get the length that I want. Now you at least want about half the body 
length over the back and pinch and loop it on the top, two or three turns and we make sure there's wax on my thread at this point so there's no plenty of grip the stems of CDC feathers are really thick so you really make sure that this well tied in and it's nice and tight so I'm away, as I say what I'm going to do is come back to this, this is the waist ends both of the light and the dark cinnamon so I'm going to set that on my desk there and then I'm going to carry on down just then tie in some bronze mallard for horns so I've got bronze mallard feather, this is just a large feather I want two fibres, so I bring them out 90 degrees from the stem. Now you'll see how the tips have lined up, then I tear it away. Now you want the natural curve coming up and away from the hook. So we get my length. Now you're looking round about the length of the fly, say. So from this point here to the back of the wing, that, that should do it okay. Make sure these are on top. See a thread. Up to the this point, up to the wing, and you can break them off. Now I'm going to tie in some elk. Now before I do that, what I'm going to do is just get my needle in here, just to make sure the bubble's open. That's fine. That's ideal. And then I'm going to get some elk here. Now what I'm going to do is stack this. You don't need many fibres. Don't. It's just a small impression of the way. Just to mix with the CDC and as a wee touch of colour as well. So trim it away from the skin, just remove this under for you don't want that because I'm going to stack it. So what you do is you put the tips in first to your stacker, tap on your desk, just check now they're all lined up and then remove them. Any broken ends, make sure they're away. Now I want the tips of the elk to come to the back of the wing, which is there. So we hold that, and I'm going to trim away what I don't need, which is there, but enough to actually tie it on. So make sure that's nice and tight. Just check where we are. That's fine, that looks okay. Now we're going to get back to where the waist ends of the CDC feathers. Now what I'm going to do here, just to show you, just hold the tips of the CDC fibres, trim them both, the light and the dark together, like they are. Then what I'm going to do is just dub it on. Dub's extremely easy onto your, onto your thread. This is for my thorax. And then just wind down. What I times like to do is take it down, and come back up, and tightening the dubbing as we go, and then check we're in the right area. Head back down to the eye of the hook, and then lift the horns, two or three turns in front, and we come in, and then, well, what the best thing to do is to tiny bit of varnish onto your thread at this point, about a centimetre from the eye, just hold the horns and everything out of the way, Quite finish. Trim away your thread. And then I'm going to get a piece of velcro. Now it's important that you don't put the velcro into the wing because it will pull it apart. So what I normally do is hold the wing. I like to bring out some of the fibres you see. So what I'm going to do is brush them out with the velcro towards the eye all the way around. Give it a very leggy light look. And then the easiest way to get it to get, well to bring it back together is to get the old the hair dryer and just blow it back and we'll get the horns to sit the way we want. Just dress your fly as you say, in this case with the hair dryer hair dryer, which is warm. So have fun tying them, uh, different colour combinations and as I say, it's a simple flight to tie, great fun to fish as well, so I hope you enjoyed that.